Here we will examine the four types of simple epithelia. These are the simple squamous epithelia, the simple cuboidal epithelia, simple columnar epithelia, and finally we have the pseudostratified columnar epithelia. So let's see where these are all found. We'll start with the simple squamous epithelia. So these are a single layer of flattened cells. This is a great epithelium for allowing materials to pass through the cells. So for example, this is a great epithelium for diffusion and filtration because these cells are so thin. So these are primarily found within the glomeruli of the kidney. So this is the structure in the kidney where filtration of the blood occurs. And these are also found in the alveoli or the air sacs of lungs because they're they are thin and promote the diffusion of respiratory gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide across the walls of the cell or i should say across the plasma membranes of the cell there they are also found lining the inner walls of the heart and the blood vessels uh, and because of their flat shape the linings in the heart and the blood vessels help give the walls a smooth surface and that way blood can flow through the heart and through the blood vessels without any interruption uh, or turbulence. And so here uh, where these white arrows are located here, this is the simple squamous epithelium lining the inner wall of a blood vessel here. So that is simple squamous epithelium. We'll now turn our attention to simple cuboidal epithelium. Oh, as their name implies, they are a single layer uh, because simple implies single layer. And these are cube shaped cells. Uh, these cells function in places where absorption and secretion are important. And for that reason, they are found in the kidney tubules. The kidney tubules are where the body absorbs what it needs from the waste that will become urine. So uh, the kidney tubules, you can't actually see in this little diagram here, but they are actually located, because they are actually located deep within the kidneys themselves. Um, so the kidney tubules are a place where we see a simple cuboidal epithelium. Uh, they are also found, this epithelium is also found in the secretory portion of glands. So that is, this is the portion of the gland that actually secretes uh, where the gland is secreting things. So that is our simple cuboidal epithelium. Next we have simple columnar epithelium and these are a single layer of tall column shaped cells. And we have two varieties of these. We have a simple columnar epithelium without cilia and another variety that has cilia. So the simple columnar epithelium without cilia function in absorption and secretion. So they are primarily found in places where this occurs. So we can find them in the digestive tract. So from the stomach through all of the intestines uh, to the rectum uh, is where the, the non-ciliated variety or the simple columnar epithelium without cilia are found. Uh, instead, what we see on their surface is we see microvilli, and microvilli, even though they appear as uh, they appear and look a lot like cilia, they are not. So microvilli are actually microscopic little extensions of the plasma membrane that help increase the surface area of these cells. And so, the microvilli in the non-ciliated type of simple columnar epithelium helps. Uh, to absorb things like nutrients from the, uh, the inner lining of the digestive system here. The type that does have cilia are found in the uterine tubes of the female reproductive system. And so here in the uterine tubes, they function to move or propel eggs within the uterine tubes towards the uterus. The last type of simple epithelium that we'll look at is called pseudostratified columnar epithelium. And this is a single layer of column shaped cells, but some of those cells do not extend all the way to the apical surface. And so this makes them appear as though they are stratified, but in fact they are not. And so that's why they're called pseudostratified because pseudo means false. And so these are the false stratified. Uh, epithelium. 
So just like simple columnar epithelium, they function to secrete substances, um, particularly mucus. And they tend to have cilia on the surface of their cell, on the surface of the, the tissue here. And the cilia helps to propel the mucus that they're producing from these goblet cells here. So goblet cells are really just a, a special uh, type of small gland uh, or it's really a, a single-celled gland, if you will, that produces mucus and then uh, secretes that mucus onto the surface of the tissue here. The cilia that's on the surface of this tissue helps to propel the mucus and any debris or anything like that that the mucus ends up trapping. Uh, the cilia help to propel all of that, uh, that mucus and debris mixture. So because these cells are producing mucus, or this tissue is producing mucus, and it has cilia to move that mucus, we generally find this epithelial tissue in places like the upper respiratory structures, such as the trachea. So here, the mucus helps to trap dirt and debris and move it away from the lungs. Um, the cilia actually help propel dirt and debris that's trapped in the mucus away from the lungs. So that is where the ciliated varieties are found in the, uh, in the upper respiratory structures, such as the trachea. There is also a variety that is non-ciliated or without cilia, and these are found in the sperm-carrying ducts of the male reproductive system, as well as the ducts of some large glands.